Hey everybody and welcome to Outdoor Adventures. I'm Jason and thanks for joining me. A couple months ago, Knock Outdoors, which is a fairly new company, reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review some trekking poles. So I'll be honest, a lot of the vendors that contact me, they want to have me review garbage, but every once in a while, I'll get some product that actually piques my interest and I would find useful to the channel. So I said, sure, let me check them out and I'll see what they're all about and give you a review on it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna take a look at the Knock Vertex Carbon trekking poles. Now, what I'd like to point out before you get this review started, these have gone with me for about 100 trail miles, okay? A couple overnights here and there, several day hikes, including a very long 36 mile day hike I recently did at Oil Creek State Park. So these are a Z style pole, which means they have three pieces and they kind of make a Z. But not only that, they also offer a height adjustment, which I find exceptionally helpful for those of you that use a trekking pole to set up your tent. Or if you're like me and have a hammock set up, you like to put your tarp in porch mode by doing this. And you need that height adjustment to get that angle to your liking. Here you can see everything that comes with your Knock Outdoors trekking poles. First off, let's talk about the accessories. You're given this very, very nice mesh organizer bag that you can keep in your gear closet, or you can actually bring this out in the trail with you. I personally wouldn't, but this does keep everything up off the ground and out of the mud. So they get that. You also are given two snow baskets, two mud baskets, and two rubber tips, which you would use for walking on pavement or roads or rocks or any kind of other hard surface. Now, personally, I don't use baskets anymore. I find that these just get, and this is for any trekking pole. I find that the baskets more often than not just get caught up on rocks and mud and sticks, and I just forego them. But I have used these on one day hike and these work perfectly fine. The snow baskets, I'm sure they would also work perfectly fine. Now let's talk a little bit about the main product here, these poles, okay? So like I said, they are a Z style pole but the cool thing is they do offer this additional adjustment. They go from 110 centimeters right here, which is the lowest end, all the way up to 135 centimeters or 53 inches. Now collapsed, these poles are right under 16 inches. They actually are 15 and a half on the dot. So very, very compact pole. I really like that. And they are made up entirely of carbon, at least the shafts are. Now the hardware on here is aluminum. So here is aluminum, here, here, and here. And also this piece of plastic for the quick lock system. While we're talking about the dimensions and the specs, we may as well throw this on the scale and have a look at its weight. Now each pole weighs approximately 7.55 ounces, or for you people that count in grams, like most of us out there, 214 grams. Now to adjust the locking mechanism, all you gotta do is you take the hidden shaft, which is underneath of the grip, and you simply pull it tight. There is this very, very comfortable, surprisingly comfortable, little pin right here. It's very easy on your thumb. You can easily push it and you can easily lock it without much trouble at all, and it slides very, very nice into place. Like I already told you, we have this little quick lock right here made of plastic and you can easily extend it and adjust it based on your height or your application like you're in a tent or for my instance, a tarp. It works out very good. You have this nice EVA foam. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. It doesn't absorb a lot of sweat or moisture which makes it, I think, the perfect material. Now for me and my size, I find this perfect for wrapping my hand around. However, I feel if you have larger hands, you might not find this as comfortable. Like I said, these poles have went with me on about 100 miles of trail, and they have performed fairly well, especially for the price. For these poles, you're looking at about $50 to $80, depending on when you search on Amazon. I've seen the price kind of fluctuate. Uh, recently, these are about $70, but you can find them as low as $59.99, or sometimes even lower. But $59.99 seems to be the average price, at least on Amazon, that I have found these poles. Now, for $10 more, they do offer a cork version handle. So you get the cork up here, and then you still have the EVA foam, which you can use to grip when you're going uphill. Now, a couple things that I wish they would do. For one thing, the carbide tips. 
they are not easily replaceable. They still make them replaceable. You can still contact Knock Outdoors about getting replacement tips, but you're gonna have to pry these off and you're gonna have to glue your replacement ones on. Now, I think that they should just have, similar to how Lecky and Black Diamond do it, they should just have some screw-on tips that are easily replaceable, especially uh, for those of you that hike a lot and find themselves replacing their tips every one to two years like I do. So that being said, I'd really like for them to take a look at the tips and make them more easily replaceable. The second, the wrist straps, though very, very comfortable on my right hand, on my left hand, they seem to have some issues. So I really wanted to show you guys these wrist straps because they definitely need worked on. But I wanted to get them into the light so you could actually see them. But as you can see here, there are no left and right hand specific wrist straps on these things. So they're using this very, very comfortable fleece-like, maybe felt material on the inside of these straps. They're just kind of turned inside out so I could actually show you this easier. But that's all well and good for one hand, but as soon as you switch over to the other hand, your palm and the bottom of your hand are obviously going to fall into a different spot on these straps. Now the spot that I'm falling into just happens to be right here where this stitching is to hold this piece of fleece or cloth or whatever this is, this real comfortable material, into place on the actual strap, if you can see that right here. So this is actually irritating the bottom of my hand. So I definitely think they do need some kind of redesign on this or you know, make them left and right, restring them different ways. My suggestion, I emailed them and I suggested that they just take this off entirely, make the straps a little lighter to save some weight here. And the owner of the company responded right away and said they are looking at ways to make these wrist straps better, but I did want to make you aware of that because they were slightly uncomfortable on my hands. Other than that, there's no more suggestions that I have, but I do have a major issue with these poles. Now, the first, I want to say 60 or 70 miles, these poles were fine. It wasn't until recently when I did that 36 mile day hike up at Oil Creek that I noticed a problem with one of the poles. You can see how this shaft comes in and out very, very easily when it comes to this one pole. However, let's take a look at this other pole. Now you can see that the paint is starting to wear on this and this piece of aluminum hardware right here is actually digging in to this pole rather badly. So badly in fact that if you keep doing this you'll actually have paint shavings from the pole. Now it's not a huge deal and I might have some grime up in here just from overuse of the poles but I feel that for this price range, they could be a little better and you can see it just getting stuck. Now, from everything that I'm reading, Knock Outdoors has a great customer service base. They are very, very attentive to their customers and they are happy to replace products. And speaking of which, these poles do have a one year manufacturer's warranty. Now, being that Knock did send me these poles, I'm not going to go after this warranty because I just don't feel that that is right. However, I'm fairly certain, almost 100% certain, that they will have no questions asked. They will send you a brand new poll and it shouldn't be an issue, but I did want to make you aware of this in case other people do have the same issue as I did. That being said, these polls are a very, very comfortable, very, very cost-effective poll, but like I said, I do think they need a version 2 of this to be fully ready to be released to the public. I have seen some other products that Knock is in current development with and I'm very very excited to see where this company goes which is one of the reasons why I'm reviewing this product to begin with. Now the owner of the company actually is a climber and a backpacker and he is in the community. He is watching videos, he is responding on message boards and he is very active part of the community. So I feel like he will have a good product here as long as he takes the community's suggestions through review videos to make this product very good. As it stands, I would just be careful about this upper shaft and I would be very, very careful about these straps because like I said, I did experience some discomfort when using this product. So guys, if you have any questions about the poles, be sure to let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. 
Thanks, guys. You can find these guys at knockoutdoors.com or check them out in their Amazon store. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the trail.